Hi, good evening. Welcome back to the Dean's Institute. Today we are going to see how to create a website using WordPress. <coughs> um, I assume that you've already taken the web hosting service or let me also show you how to get a web hosting service. So first of all, <coughs> I'm using Hostinger. You may use any other web hosting service uh, that you prefer. The most popular ones are Hostinger, GoDaddy, HostGator and there are quite a few. Uh, a few more are there but it's better always to get uh, to a reputable web hosting service to go for a, a reputable web hosting service. The reason is because the speed will be fast and you would not want your website to keep on loading. So that will uh, not be very good for your promotion of your website. So now let's click start now. So here you come and choose whatever web hosting. If you are using for your personal, you can go for 75, 79 rupees per month. <clears throat> if you are a small business, you can choose for this one. Um, so basically you click this add to cart here you have the opportunity to host only one website so if you want to uh, host more than one website so it's advisable you take um, this option 279 but since you're learning you could start off with this and here again you will have to buy the domain okay so the cost of domain also is something you need to pay all right so nonetheless if you just select this and then you go through the process see here it is giving 79 rupees for 48 months but if you want to uh, go for 12 months program it's 139 per month so as soon as you change it it shows you what's the amount you have to pay then you need to pay this checkout now then you need to fill you can create a an account or you can use a google pay a google account or a facebook account all right so like this use and then you need to put the credit card details and it will uh, take you there so i assume that uh, you've already done that so i will be now that you have already bought the Now that you have already bought the uh, web hosting service, so you will come and type hostinger.in and you will come to login. In your email address you would have got the uh, login details, the username and the password. So that you need to use and you need to sign into your account. So. Yeah, since my uh, I've used a uh, multiple times, so it's not asking for my username and password. It's directly logging into the hosting uh, page. Okay, here uh, you have this Zyro. This is also a website builder. So, but uh, we will be using WordPress. So you can go to manage. Go to manage, and here what i will do is i will go to auto installer come to auto installer and then i will delete this which is already there i'll delete this so that we can start afresh so now i am going to select you can select wordpress or woocommerce either of the two i'm choosing the woocommerce one so over here it's asking your uh, website address so it is the Dean's Institute the Dean's Institute dot com okay uh, it's asking for a administrator password so whatever you feel it's easy for you to remember you can um, use that so. alright so now then 
you can choose always update to later uh, latest available version or update only to minor version whichever one you want you can choose and then you can click install okay so website title so here I forgot to give the website title so I mentioned my company name itself you can choose anything you want and then you can click install right now it's getting installed it'll take a few couple of minutes it's installing all the files that is required um, in order for the WordPress uh, website to be uploaded on your hosting service a hosting service is basically uh, it's a space it's a space in the web that will give you opportunity to upload your data a website is basically um, now for example uh, I'll give you an example like if you have seen an exhibition in an exhibition they create yeah in an exhibition they uh, they create the stalls okay and then you go take your stuff and you put your stuff out there and then you sell so what you take is that website and that stall is the web hosting service so imagine uh, a satellite is like a exhibition and in an exhibition they give you stalls so in that stall, whatever you take, you're selling garments or you're selling food items, whatever you're selling, that you take it with you and then you put it out there in order to sell it to the customers who come there. So that's your website. So that's uh, how this works. So some technical issue. Let me reopen. Okay, I am selecting this one in order to install. Okay, I think it's already installed. You see, it's already installed. Now, let me open this. this is how your website will look in the initial stages yeah so basically you come here and then you go to hostings now you come to man edit website when you click edit website it brings you here this is the dashboard of hostinger so you click edit website And then it will bring you to this page. This is the uh, dashboard of WordPress. WordPress is a CMS, Content Management System. It's a CMS which helps you to build websites without using any code. So you need not know any code in order to. So this is the dashboard. You can see W over here at the corner. So this is WordPress dashboard. All right. So now what we will do is first we'll go to appearance. Okay. Yeah, appearance. Go to themes. Now you have some themes over here. 
So what we can do is we can open this, we can delete this theme, delete. And we go here, we delete this theme. So we've deleted the themes, only one theme, uh, we leave it as it is, this 2021, yeah. So now go to add new, and then you can go to over here search themes over here search themes I will type Astra so as soon as you type Astra see over here it is saying details preview you can preview it what this you can go and read about this theme this is a very good theme for developing an e-commerce website e-commerce website is a website where you can sell products okay for people in your country and abroad as well so this is how uh, it'll look so now let's go back and we will install the astra theme go to add new yeah it is showing because previously i had installed uh, therefore it thinks that I want to install this so it is giving us the suggestion already so I'm installing it once you install it you can preview it you can activate it so let it get installed So meantime, let's browse through the other themes that there are available. So it's all about uh, browsing and exploring so that you will find there's all the kinds of themes which we can think as of now, which is required in the market are already developed. So and there is no need to buy premium themes there are free themes which can do the job uh, it's just that you have to uh, look for it uh, be, do your bit of research uh, see it is installed so in order to see that you can go to appearance themes and if you click themes now it will show the installed themes see the Astra and this is activated so if I click activate for this one it will get activated now once that gets activated we don't need this we can click this and we can delete this theme as well so now let's go and refresh it let's see how this will look see visit height right click and open a new link So. As of now, this also is showing very plain. Okay, there is car checkout my account. It's created a few pages over here. There is a search button. If you are creating posts, so and comments from our users. If you have any um, previously created articles or videos, that will go in the archives and it can be category you can create categories also all right so now what we will do is we'll come here in appearance astro options is there you click astro options and then yeah over here you can see install importer plugin so basically a plugin is <coughs> A plugin is uh, an added level of coding software, a mini software we could say, 
that goes into a software to add functionalities. Now, for example, uh, <clears throat> you have installed an electric meter in your house. All right. The electric meter reads how much power you are consuming. It gives you that information. Okay. Over, over here, select Elementor. All right. So you have Guttenberg, Elementor, Beaver Builder, Brizzy. These are the different page builders that you can choose from. So we are choosing Elementor. <coughs> yeah, like I was saying, <coughs> excuse me, like I was saying that if you have an electric meter installed at your home, that is capable of reading how much power uh, you have consumed. But next to that, if you install a DP, a DP basically cuts off if there is any high voltage, it, uh, it cuts power supply. So why is that important? It's important because, okay, here uh, in Elementor is giving us a lot of themes. So as of now, I would like to go ahead with this theme, brand store theme. I select this and I said import complete site. So once I import this site, yeah, here it's saying I'm a WordPress site. I'm a beginner, intermediate expert. You can select beginner. I'm building a website for, for now you can say myself. Later on you can choose my client. And this obviously when uh, you learn, you can change whether you're an intermediate or an expert. So that later on, I would not need to tell you that. So, so it is telling us what all things it will import. It will import customizer settings, widgets. Widgets are um, small uh, devices kind of a thing. It's, it is a piece of software, but it is a complete uh, software like for example a clock a clock is a widget <coughs> okay in mobiles also you might see a lot of widgets which are already there so uh, widgets on your they will increase the uh, appearance and the functionality of your website install required plugins obviously that we need to do import content so if you click this import content if you uncheck it so content won't be there but for now we'll take content also later on i will show you um, how to change the content okay so we'll skip this part and it is importing right so the plugin is basically it gives you additional features which is by default not available on the uh, wordpress cms so people have written codes for CMS, for WordPress, in order to uh, increase its functionality. So that's what a plugin is. Now this is getting imported. Once this gets imported, the look and feel of your website will change completely. So let it get installed. <coughs> Excuse me. Done. Let's refresh this. Okay. This is how it, it looked in the previous theme, and this is how it's looking in the new theme which we installed Astra theme. This was the first theme which was by default selected for us.
okay successfully activated plugin now you can see it's uh, adding all these other <coughs> features <coughs> excuse me so meantime let's start understand this part so i'll go to this place edit website from here i will show you the different sections which is there on our dashboard wordpress dashboard so let's close this yeah uh, not this one <clears throat> this page what we are going to get I will be arriving it if I click this button over here this is the hosting uh, dashboard if you click edit website it will bring you onto this page which I showed you earlier also so now um, now in this let me show you okay as you can see on the left uh, you have the dashboard then whatever orders you have placed you can find them over here whatever accounts you have created your accounts if you want to change password or anything you need to come here uh, email accounts you want to create you go here and one email account is already there uh, so let me click this one yeah if I want to add one more email I can so over here you can click add email account and then whatever you want to create okay and put a password that you can remember and then click create so i have created study at the deans institute.com ayub at the deans institute.com like that you can create uh, email accounts all right <coughs> so now after that i'm going back yeah after emails domains so if you have subdomains you can add extra websites all right you need to come here to do that now currently yeah auto installer i used auto installer in order to install the wordpress all right so now files this is the place you need to go to um, whatever files will be stored they will be stored over here in the files i think by now this has Yeah. Now, hurrah, hooray, the website imported successfully. So now it has been installed. <coughs> now this is how <coughs> our website should look. Okay. Now let's go here. Go to the Dean's Institute. Now if we go. This is how it was looking. Now after installing that this is how your website is looking so can you see it has completely changed the entire website this is the home page then you have a store if you click store it will take you to whatever products this by default they have uh, set up some products with their prices this we can go and change and they have also done some categorization based on men women accessories and this is the account if whenever a user opens your website they can create their account or whenever they make a purchase by default an account will be created for them and that they can come and 
check their orders and downloads everything they can go and change the addresses all those things about is about the company now in our case it's the the Dean's Institute about us whatever you want to so all these things needs to be changed this is by default from the theme so this this is where we put our team team names their picks <coughs> then these has have to be linked to our social networking these icons should be uh, linked to our accounts okay so this is the footer the footer and the uh, top remains the same for all pages now a contact us page is also there so in which all the details of the contact details uh, of the company can be listed and this there will also be a form which the user can leave their details and any message they want to if they are looking for something in particular they can leave a message here and they can send this will be linked to your the email account which you have created all right so then anytime if any purchase has been done anytime any purchase has been done so it will add to cart like for example let me select this let me select this and let me say add to cart yeah if i click add to cart now you see this is dynamic it has changed now if i click it's saying that <coughs> one anchor bracelet and then checkout is also there the user can click checkout they go enter their personal details where they're from the address billing address and everything and then when they click place order it will take them to the payment options payment mode and then over there they can go ahead and make the payments so this is how um, this website base has been created in this video because the video will become too long I will show you how to make changes in the next video all right thank you for being with us if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also press the like button any doubts or any questions you have you can leave your comments uh, very valuable to us thank you see you in the next video bye for now